Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back. Dana here. Today I will be showing you how to make these two adorable Christmas cards using products from Whimsy Stamps. If you haven't already, please consider following me over on Instagram. I don't always video everything that I make, but I do take pictures and post everything. So for more content, definitely follow me over there. If you haven't already, please also consider subscribing and pampering that like button. It does help the algorithm and sends out my videos to others who may enjoy them. Now let's get on to the making. To start off these cards, I stamped two of the elf images from this cute whimsy stamp set. This is the elves on Christmas stamp set. I stamped these on hammer mill cardstock with memento ink. And I colored these in using my Ohu markers and two, I believe, two Copic markers. I did the B quadruple zero and then the blender. Now I did film me coloring both of these images in their entirety. However, my head was in the way 90% of the time. <laughs> so I did speed this up and cut a lot of it out, uh, but you can see the markers that I'm using at the time. I placed the, cap the caps there so that you can see which markers those were. Thank you. 
After I got done coloring, I did cut the images out using the coordinating dies. And then for the background, I cut out a white sheet of paper and a red sheet of paper using this twinkle swirl die, also from Whimsy Stamps. And then for the base layer of the card fronts, I used my Precision Layering A2A set from Spellbinders. For the red sheet of cardstock, I had misted that in a couple different spray stains, distress spray stains. I used aged mahogany, lumberjack plaid, candied apple, and then at the end, just to add a little bit of shimmer, I sprayed it with Yuletide Distress Mica Stain. And I'm just gluing the die cut piece to the solid card panel piece with my Barely Arts liquid glue. And then for the sentiments, I did want to go ahead and heat emboss those. So I put a piece of paper in my Misty and I ran over it with my embossing tool. The sentiment that I'm using is from the Elves on Christmas stamp set. It's the one that says, have yours elf a merry little Christmas. I just love punny sentiments. They're, they're amazing. It's, they make me smile. It's good to smile every once in a while. <laughs> I went ahead and inked those up in my VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink, and then I will go ahead and heat emboss them with clear embossing powder. And then off camera, I went ahead and die cut those out with a smaller rectangle die from that A2 Precision set. And then I'm just using my little circle punch to cut the very tips of the corners off to kind of give it a tag shape. To give it a little dimension, I went ahead and popped that card panel up on some foam tape, and then I'm just adhering that to some white card bases. To make sure I got this sentiment and the elf lined up the way that I wanted, I literally glued the sentiment to the back of the elf and then I glued that entire piece to the front of the card. And I did that for both cards.
And then here's the final cards. I just loved how these turned out. They're so cute. I will definitely be using this die more in the future. So many possibilities for this die. It doesn't just have to be Christmas. Let me know in the con comments which one you like better. Do you like the red on top of the white or the white on top of the red backgrounds? As always, please take some time to pamper your inner goddess. You deserve it. And I will see you in the next one.